What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So just like the title states, we're picking back up where we left off. We lowered the front of the truck and now we're starting on the rear. So Ty and I, there's Ty. There he is. Howdy. So we started to look at everything. We dropped the spare tire and the previous owner uh, had told me this was his grandfather's truck and he had welded a metal plate underneath to give the truck a little more weight in the rear. Now we started removing the plate and as we start moving it, we're like, man, this thing is freaking heavy. And I look up over the plate and what I find is what Ty said is <laughs> tractor weights, tractor weights. Yeah. So I pull one out. <laughs> <laughs> so I pull this one out and I peek my head in there and there's about 10 more of these 50 pound. They're about 50 pounds. Yeah. 50 pound tractor weights back here. Let me show you guys real quick. <laughs> All right, so there's the metal plate, right? I already knew because the previous owners, he told me that that plate was up there. And then ties over there loosening up both <laughs> bolts. And I peek in here, I got them set up. And there's just tons of these tractor weights in there. <laughs> oh my God, look at all that. So, doing a little bit of weight reduction here there's some over here uh and lowering the truck at the same time now i've heard we've heard of people finding strange things in vehicles like magazines money but i think this is the first time i uncover a bunch of tractor weights of tractor. <laughs> oh so we're gonna start pulling these puppies out and setting them aside do you think they're worth anything ty i don't think so <laughs> Whatever tractor weights are. <laughs> Dang, dude, I'm about to pick up gas miles and everything. All right, I need both hands to get these weights out of there. Then we can remove this plate, so let me get started. John Deere weights, 70 bucks a pop. Yeah. So we have, what are they, 50 pounds each? Yeah, 20 One, kilos. two, three, four, five 50 pound weights, plus the plate that held them all in that was underneath the truck. I would say that we successfully did some weight reduction. Now, we're not going in order because we had to pull the shocks out already in order to get that out of the way. So there's no shocks in the truck. But with that being said, I think we're ready to finally get back on track with what we're gonna do. Yep. And what we're gonna do today is put on a DJM uh, rear flip kit. So I got everything laid out for one side right here. We got the new U-bolts, the bump stop, and everything we need to put everything together. And of course, the Beltec uh, street shocks to replace the uh, regular shocks right there. So we're gonna boogie on now and uh, start getting some work done. The first thing we're gonna do is jack it up, take the tires off, and get the leaf springs off. So let's get to it. hour update we haven't really gotten much done because we couldn't get some of these bolts out and then ty was quick to realize that we had our setup all backward uh, we had the truck supported with the jack but we had the axle supported with the stands yeah. and we need to be able to lower the yes. axle so we can drop the leaf springs so we just got the uh, passenger side leaf spring we got all the bolts out now we're going to go ahead and play uh I don't know. We're gonna get those bolts out and then drop it. You do wanna get those bolts out and drop it. I hate, I hate these shackles. So we're gonna I mean, get this side out. I mean, what do you think? I mean, we, if not, we can't, if not, we have to support just this side. Oh, and wait, yeah, because if that side still bolts are on, it's not gonna drop anyway. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, well, okay, then we're one third of the way there then. Yeah, so I mean, we can just drop, we can put the jack under here. We could put, we could support the back and then we will have to pull that jack stand, pull this jack stand out by putting a jack under here. Yeah. Pull that jack stand and then lower it down. Okay, so you're saying if we do one side at a time. If you want to do one side at a time. What do you think, just do both? Um, the only reason I say maybe not do both is because we'll have a harder time getting it back up straight in there. I think that's why he says do a side at a time. 
I've done it. It's not terrible, but it's you've got to balance the jack. You've got to balance the axle on the jack. But the axle is also not coming all the way out because it'll still be attached to the yeah pumpkin. But that means we'd also be messing with pinion angle a little bit, but it wouldn't be bad. Okay. I think it's two side at a time to try it. That's two votes for one side at a time. Yeah. All right. Since we're already halfway done with this one, all we gotta do is remove these jack stands. Just this side. Just this side. Yeah, maybe we even put that jack stand on the outer part over here. Where? Oh, no, I don't want to do that because then it'll touch the U-bolt, which... Yeah, 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 it will. So we'll just leave okay. it there. Okay, we're going to get to work, put a little time lapse on, and see what works best. just kicked me completely out because he's about to manhandle this leaf spray. Careful with the body kit. It's all this super custom stuff on here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh success. Ooh. Success. This right. is what success looks like. I'm not gonna video We're some of this stuff. Bring it over here. What are we doing? Are you gonna put it outside? Yeah, let's bring it over here in the sunlight. We gotta do the shackles. Yeah. There you go. All right. Go. One. Oh, it took six hours. <laughs> One. <laughs> oh, we're smoked. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and replace these shackles. All right. That's all I gotta do is replace that, and then. Yeah. What do you say? So it's up like this? Yep. This would be... Hello low. Low. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because it's going to bring the... Sh the, yeah. sh the This would bring it up. Mm-hmm. Low would bring... I say like... I was going to go with this one. Yeah, this is the one I was going to say. All right. Let's go for it. We're in cahoots. Let's go for it. <laughs> oh, man. All right, guys. So we got... I don't know the proper name for these, but we got them suck. in place. What are they called? Suck. Yeah, they're called suck. Uh, this top plate's got a nipple that allows it to align into this top bracket for the flip kit, but it's like a little too long, so this doesn't sit completely flush. Sadly, I don't have a grinder to grind it down. So as you can see right there, I'm talking about right here. You can see there's a small gap, nothing too crazy. This isn't tightened all the way down. We just got to tighten up not to move. The impact will fix it. Yeah, impact right there, the motivator. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and bring the uh, leaf spring over. We've already got the new shackle in the rear mounted up. Gotta put it in the holes that we discussed. And, uh, oh, we gotta change this outside. Yeah, the bump, bump stop. stop. Cause that's gonna screw with us that's big time. I was asking about that thing. Yeah, so that's a 15 mil. So we'll remove that. We'll set that up right now. I use the other digger. I am. <laughs> And officially finished uh, the passenger side of the rear flip kit. So, see, got all the bolts, bump stop, the new drop shackle, second to last hole like we spoke about. Oh, right there. Uh, it looks like the exhaust is hitting this. That's still something. We got everything buttoned up on this side. We got the U-bolts, got everything together, the bump stop. We've got the rear flip kit. We got, excuse me, the rear shackle put on and the second to last hole like we spoke about. Uh, the only problem we see right now is that it looks like the exhaust is completely hitting. So we're not sure if once there's a tire on it and it lifts back up, if it'll take some of the stress off of that. If not, I'm gonna have to figure it out. So for right now, since it's getting late, we're gonna go ahead and knock out the other side. All right, so it took us like 30 minutes to do the other side. 
when it took us like three hours to do <laughs> the first side, the driver's side. R&D. So as you can see, I mean, we're, we're filthy. The truck is filthy. It's an old truck. But I'm blessed because it is a Texas truck. It wasn't a northern truck, so there wasn't a bunch of rust or breaking bolts. Really easy to get to. So now uh, the last step is to put in the new shocks. So, as you can see here, Ty's got the new shock in his hand. Um, what are you thinking? Mount the bottom? For top first. Mount the top? Yeah, because we can't get to the top as easy, so we'll put the top in, and then the bottom you can just compress with your hand. True story. All right, so let's get these in and then we'll be done. Uh, so these are the driver's side. Yeah. Shock bolts. Try passenger side. And passenger side over there. All right. Uh, driver's side. Driver's side. I'm whooped. <laughs> Tomorrow. All right, guys, as you can tell, it's daylight out. It's the next day. We're a little rested. We're a little sore. Uh, but we finished buttoning everything up. It was getting kind of late, and I had to move the Jeep and the Challenger back in the garage. And you guys know how loud both those vehicles are. So we were rushing. We had to finish the job. Uh, and it's kind of windy out. So you guys know I always bring my truck or my mods to the church so I can bless them up. Uh, but it's just too windy outside to talk. I don't have my microphone. Uh, so I took some video of the truck for you guys to see the way it sits. And we chose what the second to last, the second to last yeah. on slot. The back shackle. Yeah. On the back shackle. And there's like, what do you think? Second from the top. What do you think? Half second inch? from the top shackle. Oh. Second, yeah, second from the top. Yeah. There's a half inch difference between the front and the back. Yeah, so. The back is a half inch higher. So it's got a little rake. You might be able to see that in the B-roll. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think it looks kind of cool. I think oh, it looks cool. Oh, no, it definitely cool. looks good. It definitely looks good. It... <laughs> Give him oh! That. Give him that. Give him that. <laughs> Shit. I can't... Okay, hold on. Sorry, we just got a... We got a show from one of the neighbors. Dude, the CA in the garage, though. <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Jump in on it! I can't... Oh, my God! Just shirtless Joe! We were just, like... I thought he was about to just go to a Trump rally. And then now he's got the C8 in the garage! What the hell? I didn't know that. Damn. Yeah, we're, he we're... said... Oh, yeah. Thought I was... Man, he goes, this is my giant TV I'm throwing away. And Look at that. I That's a it. giant T8 TV box. <laughs> That's a C8, right? Yes. That's a C8. A black C8. With the Z51 pack. What the hell? So shirtless Joe. If he had Joe. a shirt on. If he had a shirt on, <laughs> he had a we shirt would go on. talk to him. Should I take my shirt off and go talk to him? <laughs> <laughs> Should we blend in a little bit? So shirtless Joe over there. Um, what? I'd have to I'd have to hold on to your front oh, he, if, if we wanted to blend in with him. Yeah, dude, he'd look like he'd kick the shit out of you. He looks kind of tough. He looks like he hasn't seen his toes. Yeah, but shirtless Joe over there opened up his garage and he's just looking kind of wild, but he has a C8 in the garage. <laughs> so, yeah, it's got the spoiler on the back. It's all black. It's kind of hard to see. So, anyway, back back to the truck. Um, the back the back end is about half an inch higher than the front, uh, but it's got a pretty good rake. It's got a good look to it. And if you load up the back, I think it will bring it too low if we were to put on the lowest setting. So I kind of like the way it sits right now. Got this dude scoping out the truck. He's been driving circles around it. You know, these, <laughs> these, these type of people, they like those type of trucks. <laughs> <laughs> My kind of people. <laughs> My kind of people. But guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Again, if you look at my other videos, I have posted links to these parts, everything I used, and we're not done yet. There's still a bump steer kit to put in the front in the rack and pinion, and there's still a C-notch kit to put in the rear. Because if I do tow and I do load up the rear of the bed of the truck, the frame is gonna hit the axle. Right now, driving like this is fine. We haven't driven the truck very far because I still do need an alignment. So once I finish the bump steer kit in the front it'll be ready for the full blown alignment uh, but that's it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you like these videos hit that like button leave a comment below and if you love these videos hit that subscribe button until next time guys peace, peace.